What up, everybody? The Force and Ghost timelines are finally caught up after seeing Tommy Egan in the final two episodes of Ghost Season 3. And he told Tasha about his brother JP and his nephew D-Mac. Because Force Season 1 ended with no cliffhangers or anything like that, there might also be a few month time jump between the end of Season 1 and the beginning of Season 2. Like there was a three month time jump before Season 3 of Ghost. One of the major storylines in Season 1 of Force was the new drug Dahlia. Tommy and Claudia Flynn became 60-40 partners in the Dahlia business with Tommy receiving the majority. They had the doctor who created Dahlia, who they got to work for them by threatening her, Liliana and JP as the cooks, and the only three people in the world who knew how to cook Dahlia. But after Claudia turned on Tommy, thinking he set her brother up to die, this partnership is over with. Tommy says he's not going to be messing with Dahlia anymore. Liliana is now dead, leaving only JP and the Doc as the only two people who even know how to cook it. Since JP is Tommy's brother, likely the only person Claudia has left to cook is the Doc, who was trying to get out of town in the season one finale before being kidnapped by Claudia and the Horsemen. Since we know JP is in debt and in need of money, I wouldn't be surprised if Claudia tries to cut a side deal with JP behind Tommy's back to get him to work for her. In the season finale, Claudia promised Gennard he could be her sole distributor if he told her the truth about Walter. Claudia used this information that it was actually Walter's fault Glory was killed and not Tommy's to get Vic to turn on Walter. A manipulation move to split up Walter and Vic so she could take the throne when her dad dies. Notice in the season 1 finale she didn't come out with the truth until after the horseman who was supposed to be backing her to become the new boss got killed. At that time, dividing her family was her only move if she wanted to be the one to take over. Now that Vic says he is never trusting Da again, she will be able to use Vic to play a role in her Dahlia expansion. And we should definitely see Dahlia expanding in Season 2. In Season 1, it was already blowing up in Chicago with a demand so high that they had to cook it around the clock to keep up. Claudia Flynn says she plans on investing in state-of-the-art labs and cooks to produce Dahlia around the clock. Dahlia has already started to expand into Gary, Indiana as well with Cousin Buddy and his crew. Cousin Buddy was supposed to be moving Dahlia for Gennard when he got put on, but D-Mac and Marshall tried to cut out Gennard and went straight to Cousin Buddy with a whole brick. But he told them that they either get him four more or sit with their connect or they're both dead. Soon after this is when d Mac got shot. So that meetup never happened. So this is one storyline to keep an eye on going into season 2. Will Cousin Buddy follow through with his threat. And come to Chicago to take out d Mac and Marshall. Getting me to Noma. Noma has eyes and ears everywhere. So it will only be a matter of time before she gets word about the new drug Dahlia taking over Chicago. Being the savvy businesswoman she is, Noma will take a trip to Chicago to see if Dahlia is something worth her investing in. I mean, we heard the people in Chicago call it the future of drugs. I'm sure this is what they were saying about crack back in the 80s also. I mean, and crack did have a good 30 year run. However, the people who got high on this new drug, not knowing it would turn them into a crackhead, probably all wish they would have never experimented with the drug. Diamond was the only person on the whole show who made any kind of sense. When Tommy asked him if he tried it, Diamond said, you already know the answer to that. Everyone else tried it like everything was good, not knowing if they would get addicted or become a junkie first time or anything. And Dolly is still new enough, like Diamond said, we don't know the other side of it yet. People may just start dropping dead from it, or what kind of effect is it going to have on its daily users? I'm sure Noma's attitude will be more like Diamond's concerning using it. I doubt Noma's going to try it out for herself. But if it is the next crack, 
Better believe it would be something she would be interested in investing in. We know Noma is the head of an international organization that moves drugs and guns. So there's also a chance that she has her own distro in Chicago as well. So if Noma came to Chicago, her contact person for Dahlia would either be Gennard or she could work with Claudia Flynn directly. Noma being who she is, I'm sure would want to cut out the middleman. Noma was in three episodes of Ghost Season 3, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's also in three episodes of Force Season 2 as well. There's also the possibility that Noma learns the operation, then kidnaps Doc or takes Doc back to New York or wherever to work for her. We know Tommy isn't going to be dealing with Dahlia anymore, but does he know who Noma is? Keep in mind he was outside her warehouse waiting for Tariq to stop him from going after Monet and to let him know that him and Tasha squashed their beef. So with that being said, I'm sure that while Tommy was back in New York, he did his due diligence to see what Tariq had been up to, who he's working for, and whatever other information he could get. We know that Tommy knows Tariq has a problem with Monet, but at the time they spoke, Tariq didn't yet have a war with Noma. If Tommy did know, that would be the perfect time to take Noma out while she was least expecting it in Chicago. We do know that Tommy was in New York for a few days, so what else could he have been up to or who else could he have got in contact with? We know 2-Bit is supposed to be in Force Season 2, so maybe he was in New York recruiting some old soldiers, 2-Bit, and possibly getting back in touch with some of the gangs he knew in New York. But I'm sure he wouldn't get in contact with too many people in New York because he's supposed to be dead. But if anything, I'm sure that he at least stopped in to check on Cash, Lakeisha's son. I am expecting to see Cash return at some point on either Ghost or Force. And there you have it. Do you think Noma will go to Chicago to see about Dahlia? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.